Hi guys, this is Carol. I'm hanging out tonight with some transfer foil, some clear top coat, some transfer, and a buffer. Of course, and a UV lamp. So I put a thin coat of transfer gel down and cured it for 60 seconds. And now I'm placing the transfer onto my nail and I'm gonna use my buffer and smooth it down to make sure that the transfer transfers completely. If you don't have one of these buffers, you should get one. And that transfer pretty nicely. But guys, if, if you're gonna attempt to do transfer foils, please cut the transfer. I could not find my scissors, but I really needed to do a quick video because I was applying the transfer to my nails and I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So I put the, the transfer down on the second nail and I had already pre-done three nails. So this is only going to see two of them transfer. And then I'm rubbing it with the buffer and then I just peel it off and there they go. Uh, you should try to pinch and expand the video so you can get closer to it. Right now, I am applying the eye gel clear top coat over my lace. And I'm experimenting with lace right now because my 17th anniversary is next month. And I'm just looking for options of what I can do. To not look so much like a bride, but to still include some of the elements of a bride into my outfit for the day. So, I'm trying out some transfer foil over my cover pink nails. And now I'm drying for 60 seconds. And then we will have the grand reveal. Oh, please expand your video so you can take a look at this beautiful Absolutely gorgeous. I love them and I would be wearing them for a while. Uh, like I said, I've been wearing stilettos. I haven't had squares in a while, but I am feeling these bad boys. So beautiful and so natural. Sometimes transfer foil can look busy, but because the powder was so opaque and light in color, the fact that I have transfer gel over all of them, it's not screaming at you.